Hi guys, I've got a great video lined up for you today. Um, Rotocrosite versus Rotonite. Um, I don't know about you, but I have always wondered about these two uh, minerals. They are very similar in color and their names are extremely similar. What is up with that? <laughs> I was absolutely dying to know. Um, so I did a bunch of research to you know, learn about both of them and learn how to di differentiate them. And I thought it would make a fantastic video. So let's just dive right in. I'll start showing you my little tiny uh, tumbled piece of rhodochrosite while I get started. So rhodochrosite is a manganese carbonate mineral, manganese carbonate. Um, in its rare, pure form, it is typically a rose-red color, but impure specimens can be shades of pink to pale brown. Rhodochrosite forms a complete solid solution series with iron carbonate, uh, also called siderite, uh, calcium, as well as magnesium and zinc to like a very limited extent, frequently substitutes for manganese in the structure. Uh, leading to lighter shades of red and pink, depending on the degree of that substitution. Um, so that's why the color ranges from a red to a light pink. Um, and it is for this reason uh, that the most common color we encounter is pink. This is very much the typical color that we see on the market. Um, <clears throat> Uh, this calcium exchanging for uh, manganese in the structure is also the reason for its signature white banding. So when you see the bands of different shades of pink or even like almost white, um, you can tell that the calcium has started to substitute for the manganese in its structure. A um, little bit more calcium, a little bit less manganese, and that's why the color is... Uh, varying as it grew. There we go, so that you can see those uh, almost rings in the structure. <clears throat> Here's my larger piece. It's still a small piece, but it's larger than the little doubled stone. Um, it's from Catamarca, Argentina. Absolutely stunning. And it's just sliced, not polished, in its raw form. So rhodochrosite occurs as a hydrothermal vein mineral along with other manganese uh, minerals in low temperature ore deposits as in the silver mines of Romania uh, where it was first found. Uh, but banded rhodochrosite is commonly mined in Argentina uh, like this specimen here. I'll show you the other side. Its main use is as an ore for manganese, uh, which is a key component of low-cost stainless steel formulations and certain aluminum uh, alloys. Could you imagine <laughs> this beautiful, beautiful stone being used in those industries? I don't know. It's just mind-boggling to me. So quality banded specimens are often used for decorative stones and jewelry. Uh, due to its being relatively soft and having perfect cleavage, it is pretty difficult to cut uh, and therefore it's rarely found faceted in jewelry. Isn't that stunning? Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> so I only have one kind of uh, polished palm stone of rhodonite. But 
very, very similar color to rhodochrosite. <clears throat> so, like I said, rhodochrosite and rhodonite are often confused for each other. Um, <clears throat> but rhodonite is harder than uh, rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite is distinctly softer. Uh, rhodonite is also a manganese mineral, but it's manganese silicate. <clears throat> if you remember earlier, rhodochrosite is a manganese carbonate mineral. So they are distinctly different minerals for sure. Um, yeah, so a manganese silicate mineral, uh, it's also a member of the pyroxenoid group of minerals. Uh, it commonly occurs as masses with a rose red color often tending to brown because of surface oxidation. Um, <clears throat> and you can see that here in this uh, specific specimen. <laughs> So the manganese is often partly replaced by iron, magnesium, calcium, and sometimes zinc, uh, which may sometimes be present in considerable amounts. A grayish brown variety containing as much as 20% of calcium oxide is called bustamite or bustamite. Um, Fowlerite is a zinc ferrous uh, variety containing 7% of zinc oxide. <clears throat> so you can have variations uh, within the rhodonite mineral uh, and different specimens with uh, different uh, levels of the uh, elements contained inside. Pink rhodonite uh, contains contrasting black manganese oxides uh, within the material. You can see some here. And sometimes it's these black uh, manganese oxides that make it really beautiful as a gemstone in jewelry. Um, Rhodonite in its, uh, is the official gemstone of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, and I think I forgot to mention, uh, rhodochrosite <clears throat> is also uh, Argentina's national gemstone. Uh, and in the USA, Colorado officially named rhodochrosite as its official state mineral in 2002. Uh, and something else important to note about this stone, it's sometimes referred to as Rosa del Inca, Inca Rose, or Rosinca, sometimes as well. But obviously rhodochrosite is the proper uh, mineral term for this stone. So after I knew the two minerals, I, I knew the distinction uh, chemically, I wondered what would be good advice to give on how to tell them apart just by looking at them. Um, to me, in order to separate rhodochrosite from rhodonite, um, you, can, you can look at the coloring. The pink is very similar in shades, um, and both stones can have different varieties of shades of, of red to pink as well. Um, but rhodonite tends to have more black veining. Um, like I said, it's got those black veins of uh, manganese oxides in it. And these ones are quite muted in my specimen. Um, although the one on the side here is quite, quite dark. Um, and some specimens can have a lot of dark veining like this within them. Uh, when you see that, you're pretty much safe. It's a safe bet to say that it's rhodonite. Um, <clears throat> Rhodochrosite, on the other hand, has more white veining or banding that looks similar to like agate. It is absolutely not agate. I don't want anyone to confuse it with agate. I just mean the banding is kind of similar for what you would see in that stone. Um, so when you see these white bands, it's much more likely to be rhodochrosite. Um, rhodochrosite does contain some black as well, as you can see in my specimen, but it's it doesn't appear in the same way as the black in rhodonite. Um, 
Rhodonite, uh, it is pink and red, just like Rhodochrosite, but Rhodonite has more like roads within it um, and definitely has areas of brown oxidization. And what I mean by roads, I just mean like the flow of the pattern is throughout the stone, um, well-marked kind of inclusions, whereas these ones are most certainly like bands, growth bands rather than roads in the mineral. And rhodochrosite is typically more pink than red uh, with, like I said, the white swirls of manganese carbonate. <clears throat> Um, so why are their names so similar? That is certainly confusing and people, you know, get mixed up about these two stones often enough. Um, the names are very, very similar and the stones look very, very similar. But why? Like, why choose the same name? So it's very simple. Uh, the prefix rhodo is based on the Greek word meaning rose and they are both rose colored. So both of their names uh, <laughs> contain that prefix. Um, and I suppose I can understand that and, you know, having done the research, I can now hopefully tell them apart much more easy and hopefully you guys can too, having watched this video. Um, yeah, so I hope that was interesting and helpful. Uh, thanks again for stopping by, guys. See you next time.